Welcome back, lug nuts. Today we're talking about the moped. Today I'll be taking you on a tour of the moped and breaking down its features so that you can decide whether or not you need this bag in your collection. So let's jump into it. It's got this lock, no key required. This right here, this is what kept me from buying this bag for so long. I think I waited about six months before actually taking the plunge to try the moped. And it was because I was worried about the flap. But you know what? If I would just learn to trust Lug, then I would have realized a lot sooner how great this bag really is and why this flap is actually one of its best features. So before we go any further, we're going to talk about why I do love the flap so much. It's got pockets on the inside of it. This is a functional flap. It serves a purpose. You get an extra pocket because the flap is here. And I want you guys to understand something. Understand this, okay? This bag has all of the pockets, not just some of the pockets, all of the pockets. The stretchy cargo pocket on the inside, soft lined, pen slots, privacy zip pocket, it's private, clear view pocket, mesh pocket, all of the pockets. Now don't say to me, Jesse, that's not all of the pockets because it doesn't have an insulated pocket. Now it's got one. So you have options here. You can choose to see your things clearly. You can choose to see your things through a screen or you can choose to not see your things at all. Because with the moped, you have options. A stretchy key bungee. Let's say you've got your hands full. I've got two toddlers. My hands are always full when I go out. So this would come in handy for me if I use this feature for my keys because what I can do is actually leave this out of the bag, have the bag closed, and my keys can be hanging right here, which means I don't need to rummage through a pocket to try to unlock my car when I've got my kids with me. Or, you know what, you attach this to anything that has a D-ring on it, like a transport envelope, and it keeps it inside the bag even more securely. Aside from that, now you see all of this back wall here has all of the organization in the bag's interior. This wall, this wall has nothing. Why? Because the front of the bag, the exterior, has the organization out here. So if Lug had put any more organization on the inside of this wall, this would be fighting for real estate. So this is what the bag looks like when it's full. So for now, we're gonna close this. We're gonna talk about the cell phone pocket and the pocket behind the bag. This was another reason why I thought the moped wasn't gonna work for me because I was thinking, if I put my wallet here and my phone here, that's way too much on the front. There's no way it's gonna fit. I have the ability to edit that out and I'm not going to. So the tram is in here. Here is my phone. So it fits the tram and the phone, but what I didn't realize because I wasn't paying attention is that the RFID pocket in the moped is actually on the back of the bag. So this pocket here wasn't necessarily meant for your wallet. You can fit a wallet in here. And of course it doesn't matter if it's RFID protected or not because if you have a lug wallet, your stuff is already protected. But if you like having your wallet in the front of your bag, it does fit a tram. So if you wanted to use that for something else besides a wallet, it makes total sense. This would be perfect for the Pop-Tarts. So phone out. Back of the bag. So this has the RFID tag. You can fit a much larger wallet in this pocket. So if I wanted to put my Kickflip 2 in this pocket, it fits and I'm able to zip it closed. Now because that is a big wallet, of course it might take up a little bit of space in the bag's interior. Just use a thinner wallet if that's gonna bother you. Any of the tandems would probably fit even better and eliminate that issue completely. But this wallet is amazing. And I appreciate it. So continuing with the back pocket, at the top here, before you even get to the couple of credit card slots, this is a place for a passport and it is in the RFID protected pocket, so it's perfect. In addition to this tall pocket, you get two credit card slots beneath that. The credit card slots have more space in between them when they're not overlapped, they create less bulk, which means that everything is laying nice and flat in this pocket. 
So that's the back pocket. Now we're gonna talk about the secret hydration location located on the side of your moped. So you unzip it and inside you get a little stretchy cargo pocket Look at me. For your water bottle. Another bag that has this feature that's got the, the side zippies. Maybe you're thinking of the Happy Camper or the Trooper. They both have the same style pockets where it's hidden by zipping a zipper down. And if you're thinking, I don't want to fight with this bag, I just want to be able to see my cargo pocket like I can on the mini puddle jumper. I want it to be out there, accessible, slip my water bottle in. Listen, you can do this with one hand. It's extremely easy. You get one of those. The other side doesn't have one. There are no feet on the bottom of the moped. There is no wipeable bottom on the bottom of the moped. One more thing you can fit. This is an iPad Pro 9.7 inch with a keyboard and a case. If you don't have any kind of protection on your iPad and you really wish that love would make a soft lined pouch for your electronics besides the Delta. If you have one of these laying around and you're not using it for a pillow and your travel blanket is not in it because maybe you're using it for decor. Listen, unprotected screen. This side is also soft lined. You now have a little soft lined pocket. Does it have a lot of padding? No, almost none. But it is soft against the screen. Is it the best lug hack ever? Probably not, but it works in a pinch. Not to mention, it's got a little handle. Sometimes these things sell for like 20 bucks. If you just wanna pick one of these up just to be able to have a little extra blanket and then use this for a tablet, totally works. And it fits in the moped, no problem. So like I said, I was a non-believer when I first saw the moped. I now have three of these. This is definitely one that you don't wanna let sell out before you at least pick up one of them. Get one for your mother. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up the moped video. If you like this video and wanna see more videos like this, consider subscribing to Lugnut TV. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.